Hey guys, hope you're having a tuntastic day today. This is your friend Shalala Meow Meow here. Anyways, today, as you probably can tell by the title, I'd like to talk about the history a little bit of Toontown's past versus Toontown's rewritten's future. Um, you know, kind of just to talk about a little bit why Toontown died at least Disney's Toontown died and kind of why based on what I'm seeing Toontown rewritten is also slowly dying um, for a variety of reasons that we'll get into and basically you know we'll start out with the history a little you know uh, Disney's Toontown officially shut down in 2013 um, basically around before that a little bit uh, they acquired Club Penguin. Club Penguin was a really big thing. It was free. You know, Toontown you had to subscribe to and pay a subscription, so obviously there was a bigger market there. Um, bigger player base, bigger money maker, just from the ads and little microtransactions. It was a better business model for Disney in the long run and they just bought them to get rid of the competition. The younger audience back then couldn't uh, really, the, the subscription model didn't really work for them. Um, but you know, and then I think part of the problem too with Toontown is the the audience grew up and a lack of new mini games and playgrounds prevented long term play from young and old fans alike. So what you got with Toontown is just this repetitive, kind of play the same mini games, especially back then. They really never really added too many new ones. Um, but then, you know, not only did Toontown die, but like the Pirates of the Caribbean online and a couple other ones eventually closed down too. And even now with Toontown rewritten and, and it's slower because it's fan made, there's no donations, it's a non-profit. So, even if they do make new ones or even edit the game at all it takes a long long time sometimes years to just make some music I and mean, we just had an update recently where half the video was we saw was just music um and very minimal updates or like they talked for a while about a desk apparently um so it's like, uh, you know, it's all cool and all these minor things, but, you know, what people really need are big things. And, uh, you know, about, I remember I discovered the game, like I mentioned in my last video, you know, back in October, because I actually didn't even know the game still existed in any capacity, because I stopped playing long before the original game shut down. I probably originally stopped playing probably in like 2008. 2007, 2009, maybe somewhere in there. And, you know, I found this video on Mega Snoop's channel actually about cloud theory, and that was in 2019, and the video was from 2015. So, you know, I was all like, man, maybe by now they gotta be close, they gotta be close, but just nothing I mean you think about it it's been five years since that clouds first appeared in Toontown rewritten and really it was just an update from a failed plan that Disney never really got around to adding and I think originally the plan was to just hope that Disney will retake on the game in some capacity which I honestly feel is never gonna happen because I mean, I've seen evidence of this. I've never experienced it myself because, like I said, I only started playing this year. And so I've really only seen the low player counts where we maybe have a thousand players and only maybe at most three, four hundred people on a server and usually only one or two at a time of that. So, but I've seen it in other people's videos that are older where there were like a lot more green dots and a lot more servers that had a thousand players so obviously the player base has definitely dropped hugely in the last five years and i mean if people were talking about this a couple years ago where they were having trouble doing things in the game 
now it's definitely so because I mean I've been running around here for a little bit now and honestly even if I wanted to try to do a building it's incredibly hard because the people that I played with a few months ago don't seem to play the game anymore and now I mean I see a few people here and there but it's like either the people are too new or too old there's just not enough of every type of player there's not enough at every point in the game like I'm somewhere in the middle and there's all these people that are maxed out and then there's all these people that are just trying to play the game at the very beginning and then you know depending on what server you're on there's just not really enough and I really think that things definitely need to change or else Eventually, Toontown Rewritten could be going away in the next couple years. I mean, there's a couple other Toontown fan games, but I honestly think the biggest problems with the Toontown Rewritten my business model, because even though it's a non-profit, it's still a business. And the number one thing I would change right away, and I don't know if it's somehow, and I find it hard to believe because... I really don't understand why Disney wouldn't want them to do this, but the whole, because I, you know, when I first discovered this, I instantly was looking on their website to be like, where can I donate? I would love to donate, like, give you some money, make this game better and keep it going. Keep the lights on, you know? Like I get they're volunteering and they're doing it for free and that's great. If they want to do that, that's fine. But if I'm certain, I'm certain that half of the audience that's coming back as a nostalgic older fan now would probably happily give some money, maybe even pay the old subscription monthly, you know, just to try to put that money towards updates to the game. Maybe make that cloud thing really something, whether it's Cognation like uh, Mega Snoop was talking about in his video. Or maybe it's a new Disney themed playground or maybe it's maybe that's a way for them to increase the laugh limit so that more older players will come back maybe that's a way to get more marketing campaigns on TV and actually get some kids playing the games and I mean I've just from playing it just now I've thought about a couple new problems I mean they're not problems um like ideas like, when you're on the trolley, there's so few people playing the game right now. You hop on the trolley, and you're sitting there alone, and I mean, very rarely do you end up with another person, and let alone four people. So it should be like, I mean, and it's because shows that it's older, in this sense, because it doesn't, it should automatically, like, if I jump into the game, and I play one game by myself, and then later on, somebody else hops on the trolley, they should just be put into a loading screen until I finish my game and then they can join the next game when I'm buying jelly beans or something. So there should be a way to let people join in because not everybody's going to be around to jump in the, uh, on the trolley at the same time. If, But if you have a party of friends, then that could still be an option. You could hop on the trolley and do a party of four and then you're guaranteed that those spots with those people. Otherwise, you know, but I think that would be a good change to make um, for where the cloud, I mean, Mega Snoop talked about this too. It could come from this uh, street in Minnie's Melody Land. And I was actually running around today and I noticed that there's a bunch of empty buildings, not just the ones that he will mention. There's the one kind of street that's sort of obviously empty where something feels like it should be, where could be a different path but isn't but then there are like several and not just on the street leading to dreamland but even on the one from mickey's i noticed that there's a bunch of these like piano buildings that are just empty where there's nothing so maybe maybe that's even a way that they can add new shops new i think this would be really cool uh if you did it in minis melody land for the whatever the new cloud village area could be you could do it like a sneak easy, like a secret entrance to Cognation, like uh, kind of like back when Prohibition was going on uh, for alcohol and stuff. Uh, but instead of alcohol, maybe it'd be like ice cream sundaes, like in the SpongeBob movie or something. 
I mean, that'd be kind of cool, like secret entrance. Maybe you'd even have like a regular entrance or a secret entrance. Maybe you could do like push some boxes around in the cash bot mints and somehow you have to parkour onto the train and then that takes you into Cognation. That could be even a really cool idea. So, yeah. Those are just some thoughts I've had. Um, or uh, Third Street in Donald's Dreamland. I mean, you could make a, a street that goes, like if I was looking around and the street would definitely have to be probably on the side where the pillow is. Maybe you'd have to like somehow jump up or get onto the pillow. Cause right now you can't jump onto the pillow. I did test it out and that would probably be where it would have to be unless you added some other part to the playground. Um, or maybe some kind of like underground tunnel. Maybe you go into Donald's little Jack in the box and it leads to some kind of underground tunnel. But I mean, there's definitely options. I mean, if the right people know how to do it, all of those things could definitely be possible. I mean, if you look at the map, um, when they added Goofy's uh, racetrack thing, where it actually is versus where it shows up on the little cartoon image on the map doesn't even coincide. So really, it doesn't even matter. You could probably put a path from any of the villages or any of the towns that lead into Cognation, but definitely the most sense would be one of those three um, tune tasks that they can add to the game. But, and I mean, there's only so much these people that volunteer can do for free. And a very limited number of the fans of this game probably have the skills to actually make a lot of this stuff a reality. Like, most of the things like I went on there and yeah I can make YouTube videos but like I can't really do a lot of that other stuff like I can't animate video games I can't program like I don't know how to do that stuff and I'm sure most of the audience of this game considering it was originally intended for a younger audience and I mean yeah a lot of them are showing up and I mean I see a lot of a lot of the what I see online are teen, you know, older teenagers to adults, like somewhere between 16 and my age of 25. But um, so I definitely think, you know, if things don't change, because I really don't think Disney's not going to ever pick up the game. And the only thing is, maybe if anything, I mean, Disney Infinity is kind of at its last legs. It's kind of dying down now, so I don't see that getting a lot of life. Maybe. The only thing that I could see them convincing them to do, rather than bring the game back, is to do like a Toontown 2. Or like, kind of like how Guild Wars was 1 and 2, but like, yeah, kind of like that. So, the other thing, I mean the cloud, if it was like, cause I mean there was an old picture somewhere where it was like, kind of like the black and white classical Disney type stuff. I mean that would be cool. I mean, I'd gra I'd be happy with any new playground, whether it be Cognation or maybe that black and white classic Disney stuff, or maybe it's some other, maybe Dis Goofy actually gets a playground that's not just like a go-kart area. Maybe somebody else gets a playground that they haven't used yet. But, um, those are all great ideas. I mean, I'd personally rather see maybe even a COG playground. <laughs> like, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how that would work, but that's kind of a crazy idea. Or like another idea could be just to cut the servers in half. There's like 12 or so servers. Almost none of them are full. Maybe that's a sign that this player base is so much smaller that maybe they should just have six. Maybe they should reduce the servers so more players would be forced to be on more populated servers. Like, there really shouldn't be a situation where there's servers with only 10, 15, 30, even 60 people. Like, the minimum cap for a server should be 100. And if you have servers with less than that, 
And that means you can reduce the servers until you need them again. So honestly, I think that's probably what they should do too. There's so many different things they could do, but I definitely think the cloud and a couple little niche things like changing up the mini games, adding mini games, getting rid of mini games like this, uh, this make the memory match game. People just wait through it most of the time. Like, so, or like, you know, a lot of games definitely could be either gotten rid of, updated, um, they could definitely make a lot of new mini games. They, they could easily, maybe they could even purchase the rights to other video games, but that wouldn't even be possible without some sort of donation, some sort of funding, and maybe for the cloud, maybe if they had donations, they could actually hire a team of people to get it out on a reasonable schedule and I mean it would still be a non-profit we would be donating they wouldn't be for profit it would just be I mean even a non-profit business still needs some form of income to work long term or otherwise it's just going to close down I mean the lower the player base gets in this game the more likely that one day it just won't be worth it for the fans to keep it running anymore and it definitely looks like right now they're struggling because I mean they've barely been able to keep I mean they got literally some new music they got some little things but I definitely think they need something new to keep it going um, or else I feel like Toontown Rewritten will be no more so my advice to you guys if you're a Toontown fan like myself get it in while you can because this might be your chance to get that nostalgia fix before it's gone forever. And maybe, if, you know, if you got kids, definitely recommend it. Try to get them to play it. You know, if you, you know, or, you know, just, just get everybody to play it. Because honestly, it's a really fun game. But, uh, but I mean, on my channel in general, I definitely think I'm probably going to move towards playing a lot of other games. I don't really just want to play this. I want to play a lot of different games. Uh, but uh, I think there's going to be a, a Pokemon Shield game coming soon. So if that interests you, definitely hit that subscribe button. But uh, yeah, those are just some thoughts that I've had on the cloud since I heard about it. And you know, nothing's confirmed. A lot of this is just ideas and, you know, advice. For Toontown, if they ever, you know, if anybody on the team actually sees this or anybody agrees with me, you know, follow, you know, you can get follow, upload it on Reddit or find me on Twitter and Facebook too. Um, so, yeah, those are just some ideas I've had and hopefully things turn around. And I love the game and definitely recommend if you see this and you thought it looked cool, give it a try. I mean, it's free, so why not, right?